Well, I went out to Walmart and uh, I got a new knife. Complete shocker, I know. Mr. Man buying a knife? What the hell? Okay, funny story. Okay, originally I went to Walmart to get a Ozark trail knife because I found five bucks sitting on the ground when I was out shopping the other day. And I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go buy an Ozark trail knife, you know, and just do a video on it. A Walmart knife. Another Walmart knife. I know Mr. Man loves Walmart knives. But then I walked in there and I had a couple extra dollars hanging around my pocket and I ran across this the Kershaw Hot Wire. The interesting thing about this is it actually says it's a Walmart exclusive. See, Walmart exclusive, which is kind of odd to have like a Kershaw be a Walmart exclusive, but you know, Kershaws are showing up more and more in Walmarts now. So I figured, hey, you know, it's 10 bucks. This is only literally 10 bucks. So, or more like 10.45, which I'm not gonna let it focus on that, but 10.45, you know, give or take 10 bucks. And I know you're probably interested in seeing this knife a little up close, and I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm too impatient. I had to shoot B-roll of it. I know, I know, Mr. Wayne is B-roll. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, Mr. Wayne? I don't, I honestly don't know. But yeah, let's crack in this guy and see what we got. Just waiting for something to come behind me. Bench made 51 doing all of its, uh, all of its fun work. Still love the 51. All right, well, let's get you in close here and uh, get you some detailed, detailed close-ups on this because everyone loves the details. So, here's our packaging, not that anyone's interested, but Kershaw Hot Wire, Walmart exclusive. Here's your specs on the back there. Steel is C, or three CR13. Bead blasted, opening, it actually has um, the Kershaw speed safe, which is kind of interesting. Uh, it's a liner lock, your handle is glass field nylon, pocket clip, reversible, so kind of standard stuff for Kershaw there. Here we have the knife with the tip cover, don't want that. So here we go, nice little size knife, um, weight's not that bad, I mean, this is actually a really lightweight knife. Got your liner lock there, out of focus completely. Speed safe, wow, that feels really good. For $10, I mean, this guy is like, this guy's kind of stupid. Let's see, how's the lock up? Rock solid lock up. Maybe a tad bit of wiggle. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of wiggle. There is a little bit of wiggle in there, but it's probably because they're not using super, super great washers in it. It's a really slim design. Like, this is a really, really slim profile. It's not a big knife, but definitely, definitely enough blade to get the job done. I like the kind of reverse, it's not a reverse tanto, but that, um, this reverse kind of swedge design it has on the, the tip. It's actually a pretty cool design. Like, speed-wise, I mean, this thing, I mean, it flips awesome. I mean, it just pops right up. I mean, Kershaw Speed Safe is good, you know. Any day of the week, you know, I'll take it. Pocket clip, not super deep carry, but I don't think that's really a big issue for this. I mean, it's only a $10 knife, that's the thing. Only a $10 knife. Now, granted, you're not getting super premium quality stuff here, but at, at the same time, for 10 bucks, I mean, I walked into the gas station after I bought this guy, and they have Tac Force knife selling for 15 So I'd much rather have this little Kershaw, something that I know is actually gonna do do work, you know. And, uh, well, even with my gloves on, I can feel that's a pretty decent edge there. Got the Kershaw branding on the blade there, on the back side. It's just got your model number, made in China, obviously. Just can't get over how fun this thing is to flip. This is actually, I mean, I want to go back and buy a second one, because for 10 bucks, this is probably the best knife you can actually buy for 10 bucks. I'd say this is the best Walmart knife I've actually handled now. Because Walmart's all about being cheap, but at the same time, you want some decent quality. And this is probably going to be the best thing, your best bet. Period, hands down for any Walmart knife that you could possibly get. Why, hello again. We uh, we gotta pack up all of our garbage here now. If we're if we're getting ready to leave, and I can't forget this this little thing. I know I'd forget this if I didn't if I didn't pick it up right now. But yeah, so I mean, look at this guy. Look at look at how deep though you can't see right there because it's stupid. But look at how deep. That's not. It actually sticks out less than my Benchmade 51. So. This is definitely, definitely a good option. If you can find this guy hanging around at Walmart, I say pick it up. I mean, pick up a couple. Because, I mean, this is, a, this is a good knife. I mean, I obviously want to test this now. This is one knife that I'm actually interested in doing, like, some heavy, heavy testing to. Just because it's, like, it's so cheap, but yet, I mean, it seems like it's the best budget knife I've ever picked up from Walmart. I mean, yeah, the Kershaw Cryo is good. It's, like, three times as expensive as this. And if you're looking for a, a good, cheap knife, I mean, I like this. <laughs> I really like this little guy. I think we're gonna have to uh, do some testing on it and do a proper fleshed out review. Because I just picked this up kind of as a joke, but I really like it. Anyway, stay sharp everyone. Catch you in the next video. Of course I can't run away from the camera. I gotta come back to it. I'm just gonna walk away. Away. <laughs>